Wirecast Pro, with its WebStream plugin, can take input from a server and use it as a source to mix and composite to stream back out to the internet. This can allow you to go from, let's say, a camera or a smartphone to the server and then to Wirecast. In this tutorial, we're going to go from Woza GoCoder on an iPhone to Woza Server Local on the same computer going to Wirecast. I'll start Woza's terminal script to start the Woza server. Then I'll start Woza streaming engine web interface and log in. The Woza streaming engine homepage shows status, usage, and connection settings. I'll select the server tab, then select publisher and add a publisher. GoCoder uses this information to authenticate to get permission to send the stream to the server. Select the Applications tab and then select the default live application. An application is the thing that sends out the stream types from the Woza server. I then select Incoming Publishers. Publishers are the thing that allows Woza to accept camcorder or encoder sources. Woza, as you can see, can accept a lot of different sources, including Telstream Wirecast. But today, we're bringing in a remote stream from Woza GoCoder. This is the Woza streaming engine incoming publisher for Woza GoCoder. As you can see, it has the IP address, the port name, the stream name, which we'll leave at the default my stream, the publisher name, which we created earlier. That's the authentication information that will allow GoCoder to stream to Woza. And we're going to email this to my iPhone. That way, there'll be a hot link in the iPhone email application that I can click on that will go directly to the Woza GoCoder app on the iPhone and enter in the information, except for the authentication information, which I'll have to enter in manually. The iPhone gets the email with the auto configure information. I click on the auto configure link. It opens the Woza GoCoder app in the iPhone and does most of the configuration for me. It asks if I want to overwrite the old settings, and I click on Yes. I then click on Settings, select Woza Streaming Engine, I look at the host, which shows server and port. I then look at the application, which is our live application and our stream name, MyStream. And then I enter in the authentication information. GoCoder tells me it's updating the settings. Then I hit the red button and GoCoder on iPhone starts streaming to the Woza server. Still in Woza Streaming Engine Applications, I then select Incoming Stream. You can see the Woza GoCoder app now sending my stream using the RTSP protocol to the Woza Streaming server. I check the stream going out of Woza by using Woza's built-in test player. I use the Adobe RTMP protocol, click Start, and make sure I can see the stream in the player. Now, we're going to send Woza to Wirecast Pro web stream plugin so you can use this as a source in Wirecast. Start Wirecast. Start the web stream plugin. Then we're going to go back to Woza, the test player, and cut the stream information so we can go back to Wirecast WebStream and paste that information in. Make sure WebStream protocol is set to RTMP because we're using an RTMP stream. The stream options, generic RTMP. Format options, we can leave at auto detect. Make sure you click the live stream checkbox. Then type in the last part of the stream name, which is my stream, making sure you keep it case sensitive. Then click connect and wait until Wirecast brings in the incoming signal from Woza. Close the WebStream plugin, go to Wirecast Master Layer of your choice, 
add the web stream shot and now you're going from iPhone Woza Go Coder to Woza Stream Engine to Wirecast Web Stream Plugin so you can now pull in a remote source and use it in Wirecast through Woza Streaming Engine. There you have it.